here with Dan Schofield at the Interactive Telecommunications Program at NYU, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his project. Thank you. Uh, so this is a cadence chair. It's supposed to be synesthetic in that you can't really discern um, whether you're controlling the image or the sound or exactly what's happening. Basically, you're rocking in this chair, standard issue rocking chair with an accelerometer on the back, two force-sensitive resistors, buttons on the both arms, and the idea is to rock steadily enough and with even enough pressure that you ultimately reveal a hinted film that's playing um, in this processing sketch. What is it, the experience like? What are you listening to when you're... When, you uh, when, you're, when you're just rocking, you're hearing mostly Tibetan singing bowls that I recorded, um, and you can control those different tones using the rocking and using the sensors and the, the buttons. Um, if you get the movie to play, it's just a short little sequence I shot um, when I was driving through Connecticut on sort of an overcast day this summer. And the music that you hear ultimately is a Flying Lotus composition, which has a lot of strings. And if you, if you get it going long enough, it goes into sort of a percussive hip hop beat, which seems to work well with the jitteriness of the, these, this grass. And if you sort of toggle back and forth, hopefully it still sort of matches up. What were some of the technological challenges of putting together this project? Um, I don't have a coding background. I come from a music and film background, so I felt strongly about the aesthetic elements, but um, as far as the technology, just getting um, the accelerometer and the code to register an even pace. A lot of the physical computing aspects, figuring out what works from a user perspective so that you know a child or an adult of all sizes and shapes could try to get the same experience.